music industry's first couple, but recently Jay-Z and Beyonce have been caught up in cheating rumors. Now an R&B star is setting the record straight. You ready, B? If Jay-Z is cheating on Beyonce, it's not with Maya. The singer is slamming recent reports that she's been having a secret affair with the rapper for years. I know my looks can be she used Instagram to respond to the gossip, writing she never did, never was, never will, blaming, quote, illegitimate, thirsty sources with no facts. Maya collaborated with Jay-Z on her 2000 song, Best of Me. But their relationship was just a working one. Her denial comes on the heels of Queen Bee's eyebrow-raising performance during an on-the-run tour stop last weekend. Bay changed the lyrics to her song, Resentment, which is about cheating, to seemingly reflect her and Jay's relationship. We're more alive than anybody could ever tell. Our longtime pals Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez friends no more? Maybe. Lovato has just unfollowed Gomez on Twitter. I never want you back into my life. Plus, the Really Don't Care singer allegedly tweeted an insult that appears to have been directed at Gomez. She posted the message, swimming away from your bull bye bitch. That tweet has since been deleted. Hmm. Maybe Lovato doesn't approve of Gomez's rekindled relationship with Justin Bieber. We first told you about Leah Michelle's rumored new romance last month. Now, City's Glee star is stepping out publicly with Matthew Petz. The couple was seen on the leisurely hike and hanging out at an L.A. park. Michelle reportedly met Petz on the set of her music video, On My Way. This is the first time Michelle has dated since her boyfriend, Corey Monty, died of a drug overdose last July. But that's not the only reason people are talking. There are reports Petz formerly worked as a gigolo for a companionship site, Cowboys for Angels, under the alias Christian. However, he claims he's just a simple dating and lifestyle coach. Veteran actor and William Shatner is taking on a new gig today, and as he tells our BT Calgary's Jill Bellin, it's his most exciting yet. William Shatner boldly travels to Calgary to lead the city into the greatest outdoor show on earth as the parade marshal of the Calgary Stampede. Tell me about this honor, because you've had so many honors in your career, Emmy Awards, Order of Canada. This tops them all. I have heard about the Calgary Stampede all my life uh, in Montreal mm -hmm. when I was growing up and I wanted to come here. Now imagine being invited to come here. That's the top. I'd like to invite all three of you to be my parade marshals this year. Okay, we'll do it your way, but I'm not sharing my horse. While Shatner is carrying out his duties at the Stampede, actor Kellen Lutz is preparing to play him on screen. The Twilight star will portray Shatner in an upcoming biopic about infamous psychologist Stanley Milgram, who was portrayed by Shatner in a TV movie in the 70s. What's the name again, man? Jimi Hendrix. We're getting our first full look at the upcoming Jimi Hendrix biopic. It's called Jimi, All Is By My Side and stars outcast Andre 3000. The flick takes viewers back to the late 60s, just as Hendrix was finding fame and fortune. And it looks like Andre 3000 has Hendrix's signature on stage persona and swagger down pat. For me, it's colors. I want people to feel the music the same way I see it. Now that looks amazing. Now the biopic hits theaters in late September. Now what do you think of Andre 3000 as Jimi Hendrix? All I want to hear is your tweets at N-City.